Hello, greetings citizens of Zimbabwe. My name is Peter Gift Mutasa, the chairperson of the Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition. We have great pleasure to join the working people of Zimbabwe in commemorating the May Day, popularly known as the Workers' Day. This year, workers are commemorating this day in a difficult period where salaries have been eroded, pensions of workers have been eroded, the cost of living is going up, and workers are basically working in modern day slavery. We take this day seriously and join the labor movement in its diversity in the country and globally, and uh, hope that we can come together and congregate and discuss and find a common solution for our way forward. Here at Crisis in Zimbabwe Coalition, a coalition of different civil society organizations, youth, women, faith-based organizations, labor movement, uh, and many other organizations that are fighting for democracy, good governance, and social justice. We believe in the problem of Zimbabwe is well documented. In our view, it is a problem of uh, uh, governance. It's a crisis of governance. Firstly, it is manifesting in uh, state society relations where citizens are suffering under uh, widespread repression and the democratic uh, space is shrinking daily. We have the PVO bill that is coming that seeks to shrink further the democratic space and accord the minister uh, overarching uh, powers uh, to intervene in the operations of uh, CSO, CSOs and, 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 and other NGOs. We know that in the labor market, there is also the labor uh, amendment bill, which also seeks to give the registrar and the minister similar powers to interfere with operations of trade unions. We are also facing the uh, patriotic um, bill, which seeks to uh, also curtail the freedom of expression and the ability of people to move around the country seeking solidarity, comradeship and friendship. So this is one of the major crises that we are facing, a state that has become a danger to its people and to its workers. We also regard our crisis as manifesting in economic relations, an economy that has been captured by a few, by the ruling elites and their cartels, and an economy that is only working for a few. If you look at the rent seeking, if you look at arbitrage opportunities that uh, the government is providing to its cronies, all of these are militating against hard-working workers who at the end of the day are going home empty-ended, but after working so much and toiling for the whole month. We know that the domestic workers' uh, minimum wages gazetted by the government is only 900 RTGS, which is only able to buy two loaves of bread. We are aware that in the farm, farming uh, the sector, agriculture sector, the minimum wage is 9,000, which is not able to buy 25 US dollars. We are also aware that in, this, in the security sector, similar minimum wages is obtained. But what is more worryingly, what is found, is that uh, the national minimum wage remains at 2,549 RT years. This is not able to buy five loaves of bread anymore. So we need to come together and address the issue of economic uh, relations and also the issue of livelihoods. We believe we need to come together and address and, and, and fight against neoliberalism and austerity. The crisis is also manifesting in, in, in uh, the failure of the state to provide public services. Go into our hospitals, they are ill-equipped, our medical service practitioners are all demotivated and incapacitated, our schools are now a caricature of the past glorious days when we were regarded as the most developing country in terms of education. Our roles 
water and sanitation, everything has gone down. We are literally a failed state. We think there is no doubt that all of us understand this problem. And as the working class, you are more analytical than many of us in the communities. You know what the problem is, you know what the cause of the problem is. We believe we can come together, and this is our call, that the working class should unite. All of workers, all trade unions should unite and fight back against hostility, fight back against dictatorship, fight back against the repression. But you can't do it alone. We need to build a broad alliance, an alliance between the working class and an alliance between organized labor, an alliance with students, an alliance with the youth movement, an alliance with women, with the peasants, with opposition political parties, and an alliance with the civil society organization. We can fight back and reclaim and restore the glorious days of Zimbabwe. We can fight back and restore the dignity of workers. We wish you well in, the, in your commemoration of the May Day and we join you in fighting for restoration of the dignity of the working people in Zimbabwe. Thank you.